Hey guys, hello. Uh, so I'm going to talk about meltdowns a bit because um, I got into a really interesting situation yesterday where I had one of my explosive ones that comes on like that and there's very little warning or time to really brace for it. It just happens. So what happened was is that, you know, my dad is severely disabled by Parkinson's disease. He's not independent. Like, there's so much he can't do for himself anymore. So he needs help with a lot of the most basic things that we take for granted. And um, so my mom was taking him past my room into her room into the master bathroom so that he could, you know, take a shower. And she has to help him take a shower. So... So when they were in front of my door, there was our neighbor riding up and down the street on a motorcycle. And it wasn't like a big Harley Davidson. It was one of those like smaller sports motorcycles that have that really annoying buzzing engine noise. And it was so loud. And he had come and gone like 20 different times up and down our street. And it was one of those things where the noise kind of grated on me. But then right as he was going by... My mom was trying to tell me, she was standing there, you know, with my dad, she was, she said something. She said, Cindy, don't flush the toilet because I'm going to have your dad in the shower. Those are the words she said. But she was talking to me when this motorcycle went by and I couldn't process what she was saying. I heard the words, but... The motorcycle just blindsided me in that moment and I went into an explosive meltdown. I just, I curled into myself, I grabbed on my ears and I was screaming, shut up, shut up, shut up. Just, it happened so fast. And then, and then my mom was talking to me and I went into the meltdown and I was yelling, shut up, shut up. And you know, my dad just stood there cause he couldn't do anything. You know, he didn't look at me or anything. And my mom, she just, it was over like, Quick. I mean, once the motorcycle was gone, the meltdown was over. But, I mean, it was such a rush of adrenaline. But my mom handled it like a champ. I mean, just, you know, I said, shut up, shut up. She stopped talking. And when the meltdown was over, she didn't acknowledge it. She just said, anyway, I'm trying to tell you, don't flush the toilet. Well, because I'm going to give your dad a shower. And what's interesting is that I remember that she was saying those words, you know, when I was going into the meltdown, she was saying those words and I knew what the words were, but I could not connect them to their meaning. You know, it'd be like if I walked up to you and said, sky, Godzilla, peanut butter, water, ground, purple. I mean, the words don't make sense because they're not a sense. It's just words, right? And you know, I, I could walk up to you and say, I don't know, something like dog, wall, bed, ocean. And it's like those are words for things, but they don't connect and make sense. You're just saying things. That's how my brain interpreted it is I heard words, but not meaning. And then, you know, after the meltdown was over, my mom repeated it, and it's like, oh, I dialed right into what it meant. And it's like, okay, don't flush the toilet, because if I do, it'll make the water get freezing cold, and that's not fun when you're in the shower, right? But I just thought it was an interesting thing that happened in my brain, is that the ability to get meaning from words had just completely shut down. It was not functioning. You know, it felt like an old school pinball machine that had gone into tilt. And if you've never played with an old school pinball machine, they have a little pendulum inside of, um, there's like a ring and then there's the pendulum that swings. I know this gesture looks so rude, but go with it. And the pendulum will swing and if it hits the side of the ring, the machine goes into tilt. And some machines, they can take a bit of pushing and shoving and jolting around before they tilt. And other machines, you, you sneeze on them and they tilt. But what happens when a pinball machine goes into tilt is the pins stop working so you can't hit the ball. You know, you can't hit the ball up and around. 
and the machine becomes unresponsive and it'll say tilt and like that's what my brain did it just shut down and went completely unresponsive and like I heard commands but I could not do anything with the commands you know don't don't flush the toilet because I'm getting your dad in the shower well it sounded to me like peanut butter wall purple orange big strong nothing so like if you're a parent and you have an autistic kid or if you're a caregiver for an autistic person and they're having a meltdown that is not the time to be trying to feed them information because their brain cannot take it in it just they might hear your words but the meaning of it will just not be there so just be aware of that and don't light it up blue in April because April's coming and that's the uh, month of the year that autistic people just we kind of hate it because well not all of us but a lot of us kind of hate April because it's just a reminder of people that don't listen don't be one of those people listen listen to autistic voices okay all right I got something that's gonna come out on March 31st it's gonna be in protest of autism speaks so I hope you enjoy it when it comes out because it was a lot of fun to make bye